How is it going everybody? My name is Colossus. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at Azamadan, continuing on with our A through Z series. Azamadan has received a big change. Uh, it wasn't like huge changing his entire kit, but it was it was just adding power to his different talents. Uh, which which were, which weren't pick as much Bef before it was pretty much Asmodan took taste for blood every single time and the only viable choice was the only viable build was her his Q build. Well now now it has changed. Uh, he has the laser build, which is very dependent on the enemy team's um, crowd control. They have a lot of crowd control, like hard crowd control, like stunts and silences mostly. Uh, it's not really gonna work. And then you go for the split push, but again, if they're very, 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 very light on uh, on the actual crowd control, on the hard crowd control, you're Gucci. You, you can actually do a lot of damage, and it's actually very disgusting of, of how much of it you can do. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which build, which build, which build you go for. Asmodan is just great at pushing, at being with his team, but also on the remote somewhere, on the remote lane somewhere putting his pressure with his trait and um, I have my I have a couple of my favorite builds and we're gonna take a look at one of the at one of those today I already recorded a very very good game where I played out of my mind but I just felt like my, my commentary wasn't bad so I want you guys to know that I'm committing myself to 100% giving 100% in the game itself and also with the commentary and with the guides the, the game was good I just feel felt like I was just a ding dong while I was commentating but Hopefully this is going to be better. Let's take a look at Asmodan. So it begins. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the most hated map. At least my hated map in the entire video game. This is Blackheart's Bay. Uh, I mean, I don't hate it, hate it, but I just don't feel like it's good in any way. Um, they do have a little bit of crowd control. The only hard, 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 hard crowd control, though, is Butcher. And the poly bomb, and of, of course the, the 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 bomb, the E from Agazo, but that's not going to be a big issue. I still think I, th I think I'm going to go for the split push build. I think it's going to get much more much more value. Um, so at level one we went for Saging Wrath, but let me first do give you guys an overview of his abilities, traits, and just stuff like that. So his trait is Cold General of Hell, I think. Yes, General of Hell. I can press this on a minion. In lane, and what what it is what it is going to do for me? It is going to basically spawn an additional minion, which is called the General of Hell. It kind of enhances uh, every single kind of minion in in the lane, which is obviously <laughs> just a split push. So you can see, I'm gonna press it here. Uh, Sonia, Sonia, can you solo but? Looks like she's making her way over it, and that is nice. I like teams which are who are communicating. Give me those stacks. Uh, I don't have sustain in the lane, but okay, we're not we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. What the hell was that portal actually? <laughs> what? That portal was terrible. All right, whatever. So yeah, so basically, I can just make uh, with my D, with my D, I make minions in the lane basically better. They deal more damage and they take less damage from non-heroic um, flying. So this is a global ability, so I can throw it anywhere on the map as long as as long as long I'm throwing it on the minion somewhere. My Q ability is a, is a skill shot AoE which has a huge range. If, if I stand here and I move away, you can see the range is just like the right there. So you can see that uh, it's, a, it's a huge range skill shot and we're going to be enhancing that in this game with our Sieging Wrath, which by the way, I'm throwing it at Butcher because when I hit heroes, it's gonna give me stacks, it's gonna give me more damage, which which late game proves to be uh, just, again, really, really, uh, it, 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 it really proves to be a lot of damage. Um, I'm not sure why we aren't defending Tap at all. I mean, Divas is getting free value, I can't really do anything, anything about it. I'm gonna reinforce Tap now, even though uh, the, the general rule of thumb is that I should? Oh wow, she actually she actually wait she actually gave us XP that way. I'm, I won't be able to kill her or, or pressure her, but she gave us XP, uh, which is all, pff, all that it matters for me at least, you know. My W ability is a skill shot. Uh, by the way, so Q is not going to do anything. It's just long range and just does damage. Uh, 
That's basically what it does. Uh, my W is a. It, it, it appears as a skill shot, but it's it's is in actuality is a path that uh, the minion who I, who I spawn is going to take. So I spawn this little guy, and he's gonna walk in that direction and basically attack the first thing uh, or something that he sees. Looks like uh, Sonia w was a little bit overextended, and she's gonna be taken out of the fight. And she is going to be blaming me because she thinks that I'm supposed to be a soloing bot. In actuality, it's not me. I'm supposed to be uh, with the majority of the team. She has a sustain. Uh, and I'm just here to help her uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of help her with the push, you know. As a rule of thumb, general rule of thumb, you, also, you always want to put your D on the farthest lane possible. Uh, let me apply some pressure to this butcher. He won't be able to pressure me too much. I do, we do see three people up in the top, so I'm not too uh, concerned about his his killing power here. I mean, he has pretty much none. So, and he's getting he keeps giving me stacks. So I'm all Gucci in the in the Gucci man. Looks like he's he's getting super low. Um, somebody might be doing this camp actually. No, I thought Gazlan might be doing a camp because he was um, he wasn't on the map for, for for a certain amount of time. Yeah, so these guys will just kind of walk down, they will deal some damage, they'll have some health, they'll be there for some seconds. Pretty, pretty much in the early game, it's gonna do nothing for you, besides just draining ammunition from towers and helping you with, with push, you know? Uh, your E ability is a laser you can attach to somebody and then you, you keep channeling it, but you can actually move while you channel. And it allows you to, to deal just like sustained damage and the, the longer you have it on somebody, the, the more damage you're gonna be doing. Um, and it's, it's an actual, the, the, it's the e-build, the e-build actually focused on that. I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna take that globe, thank you! Um, let's go for Bound Minion. I In the last game I, I was forced to go into the Infernal Globe, but I just love the Bound Minion town because it's so douchey. And look look what we just did! <laughs> we just kind of solo boss. I, I'm not even sure how, how that happened, but I mean it happened, so... I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. I'm just gonna try to do not my job. This is Sonya's job, but I'm I'm gonna be not that bad at it. At it. The enemy team is coming over. Looks like Lucio will be able to take that along with the butcher. Not sure why they engaged there. Maybe they were, they were afraid of our team being there. Yeah. So you basically attach attach it to somebody. You can move very very slowly. Um, I'm gonna reinforce middle actually. You want to hit the 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 most damage minion because it, this also heals the actual minion who you put it on. The the bound minion talent. Um, and then yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. There isn't much more to his basic kit. We are focusing on stacking our Q. I'm a ding dong and I missed that globe because I'm a ding dong. <laughs> um, so again, we are sitting at 15 stacks. We do need 25 uh, when we finish that quest, that stacking quest. Uh, we will be uh, getting um, just, just some some more additional some more uh, additional damage. I'm gonna again put it on the lowest minion in the wave and just staying in lane, just kind of keeping the pressure up. That's honestly what you want to be doing as Azran mostly. I just wasted mana there. I'm a ding dong. All right, Black Hole is gonna be my choice. It, this, what it's gonna do is uh, I can place it under me or under my minions, so my minions can do more damage by seven increase damage by seventy five percent, or I can do increase damage by seventy five percent. Honestly. When you stack this up to 25, this is, and you you put the black pool on yourself and you throw this at the long range, it deals pretty ridiculous damage. Uh, I don't want to say it's like the highest damage in game, you know, blows up everybody in one shot. No, it's not that kind of damage, but it's very, very, it is actually surprising how much damage it actually does. So I'm going to put it under myself here. I'm going to actually shoot that way. She's going to walk right into it. She's going to be hit. You can see, of course, she doesn't have too much health because it's freaking diva, but... Um, but again, it's still some damage, and, and you can see I'm, I'm st I still have like uh, nine stacks to go. Uh, looks like Lucia will be aware of us rotating. I'm not sure if this is good of us, of if all of us are being here. So I'm gonna show you the laser here. I'm probably not gonna use it again just because I'm not specking for it. And it honestly, it just deals. It just it's not worth for me to use my mana with my E, honestly. Right, at level four, we did go for Army of Hell. Army of Hell allows me to reduce the the, the, the mana cost um, and increase the damage that my W deals. So this basically allows me to spam spam that off cooldown and not really be pin, be penalized for that. Um, so again, just a small push. Um, right, let's see. Where's the portal? Let me throw that here. 
Yum! Got that stack, and I got a lot of damage. You can see uh, he was at half health. You know, again, it's not the, the it's not the most um, amazing amount of damage right now, but it's definitely something. I'm gonna throw my dunk over there to try to pressure him. Uh, that's gonna be a stack. I'm not sure. I, again, I'm walking. What what do you expect me to do? You we won't be able to save the fort. Yes, he was focusing the fort with the with the turrets. It was close. It was close. And we have a nice push uh, coming up here. Let me let me send one of my W's over there. Yeah. So again, it just allows me to. Uh, we lost top four for nothing. Okay. I mean, that's the same as the enemy team, honestly. The bottom. This is also really good for for wave clear. Again, you want to stack this as fast as possible. The the the, the level one Q talent just because it helps you so much with wave clear and everything else. It's pretty, pretty, pretty naughty. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna activate that to put some pressure on the bottom lane. And honestly, you can also see that also my auto attacks deal, deal bonus damage. Uh, so again, th th this is actually one of the main mistakes that people people do. Asmo the Slayer. Are these people talking about me? All right, all right. I'm not gonna tilt. I am definitely not going to tilt. I am definitely going to just chill. Netflix and chill. Right, let me walk with the team. So basically this is what Asmalan is good at. He's good at, at going with the team and then reinforcing other lanes, keeping pressure in the lanes. Looks like the enemy team isn't the friendly team is actually engaging without everybody here. Uh, the, only, the, only, the only thing I can do is uh, if I have a big booty. So if I auto attack. I might body block somebody, and it looks like we are giving now stacks to. Um, we are giving stacks to the enemy team right now. I mean, I'm trying. Oh wow, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Yep. Again, these people are gonna are gonna talk. Uh, shit, because they don't understand the the value that I bring to to the table. They don't understand. <laughs> Okay, let me mute these people because we were winning the game up until they started talking. Let me focus on what I was talking about. Right, so we are now fully stacked and our team is feeding. Why? Honestly, like, what? what what's is the reason behind this? They actually might be coming up behind me. Looks like, your are... so, uh, looks like this guy might be dead now. Looks like he's gonna use his movement speed and he's gonna be just. About fun. Let me do this. Try to maybe secure a kill. Looks like he was just backing. I thought he mounted up and, and, and would keep going, but it looks like he was just backing. You can see our pressure is up to the fort. It's up to the fort. So because they're, they're clearing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically focus a different lane now and uh, just keep reinforcing, keep reinforcing, keep the pressure up. So even if we are losing team fights, we're still gonna get value. We're gonna go for health fort armor on this level range. Again, so this this improves our army, our our W guys. This um, bound minion gives the minion who we who we bound. Basically, it gives the minion increased armor against non heroic structures, not non heroic sources. So it's just better at pushing, um, and it also heals the, the the target minion. You can say um, uh, again. Okay, so I think they're they're, they're doing boss. They're bossing. We don't have enough to pay. I think we're missing one, if my math is correct. Yes, my math is correct. God damn, that's a miracle. Let me dunk this wave. Get a push in the right direction. Use this, use this twice. Now I can uh, reinforce bottom. Our team is fighting for no reason. Yes, team, let's do that. Are we actually winning, winning this some, somehow? We are actually somehow winning that team. I'm gonna go back to defend that boss. And they're still typing. You can see she stopped there for to, to type. Whatever. Whatever team. Yeah, this increases the damage if we are over it or if I min or if our minions are over it. Um, and level 13 uh, allows our our W guys to deal more damage. Because they will be emitting this burning rage kind of uh, kind of aura. Um, rather than, than just attack just attacking themselves and I think they'll be also like taking less damage I'm not sure yeah they're gonna be taking less damage from uh, from heroic source so you can see how this split push build 
it, it, it is going to come together at level 16, which we're, which we are still struggling to do. You can see bottom is just pretty much cleared. Um, this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. We had we had coins. I, I didn't realize we had coins. So if, if we had coins, that actually wasn't bad because the, the, the enemy team just kind of gave it to us. Just clear that. Again, I'm trying to stay in, in the circle to deal more damage with my auto attacks. Uh, not only with my dunk. Um, this guy is... Again, Butcher's Butcher's dead. No, he's not dead, but he is... Let me do this. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Now Rhaegar got fucked. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bail. See you later, team. Just gonna split like a ding dongs. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna back here. Go to the bush and just just back. On this level range, huh, I'm actually wondering. Yeah, let's go for Battleborn. Battle burn, what it's gonna do, it is going to... Uh, it is going to spawn the, this little warrior. No, bring them towards me, you freaking ding-dong. It looks, like, it looks like he just bailed. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Rip team. Of course, nobody's gonna no, nobody's gonna save me or anything like that. Rhaegar's just kind of clearing up top. Ugh, this game is frustrating. We're winning still uh, on on XP, but the enemy team just got. Huh? Is that a kill? That's fine. That should still be fine. Should still be auto attacking at least. He doesn't have the heal. Oh, he does have the heal. He just used it on Tracer. As long as he just gets away from him, he should be fine. Well, protect. Oh my lord! I'm hundred percent sure it just came off of cooldown, and he he got it. No, she she needs to get the skill. I'm sorry. Okay, she's gonna recall for that. There we go. Cool, cool. So not bad, not bad. We got the kill on the ding dong. Yeah. So when I Q is going to spawn this guy with everything already so with the with the aura damage with less taken damage uh with with more damage for uh, with, with our level four talent um and yeah i mean it's just gonna keep if i if i do this i'm gonna clear the entire wave and i'm also going to be sending a dude in that lane you, you know what i mean like it, it is just so crazy and the range from it just allows me to you know to basically put it put this pretty much I don't want to say globally because it's not globally, but it's damn close to be global. Um, let me do this. Uh, like team wants to defend this, so I'm gonna put the globe down there. They're fighting for no reason. Please team, please team, don't, please team, team, don't fight. Please look what look what I am. Oh no. Uh, let me dunk this. Bam! There we go. That's was you, you saw. That was actually a lot of damage. It looks like friendly Sonia does survive here. I'm gonna reinf keep reinforcing top while we fight over here. Uh, Leyline still is actually going to save our Rhaegar from imminent death. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dunk right here in the middle of the enemy team, doing some damage to the enemy Diva and the Butcher. We are slowly chipping away, but looks like it's not gonna be enough. Looks like this is just way too much for us. She is hitting. He, she is hitting for a crazy amount, actually, and he's actually fully stacked. And we are rip and pepperonis, my boys. Do this. Okay, so he's engaging on the highest health target. That sounds good. Am I, am I fine? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not fine. Let's drop boot! <sighs> Sounds OP. Right, so the enemy team can 100% finish the game right now. But they're, they're terrible at the video game, so they're not going to. Look, they're going to get the keep. 
And Tyran is gonna get a kill on, on Lucio. Okay, so this is actually super good for us. Uh, Tyrande does have Shadow Suck again, so I think she can just get away, right? Yes, she can. Looks like she's not even gonna use that Shadow Suck, so that's, that's good for us. I mean, cooldown or not, it doesn't really matter. We need to get 20 first. And then we can we can honestly have some fun. fun. Um, you can see, my siege damage is rocking up super, super quickly. And also my XP contribution is just, I don't want to say worlds above everybody everybody else, but it's even higher than Gazlos, who was play, pushing most of the game. So, and I was mostly with the team. Of course, this is going. This game also gives you guys an idea of what Asmadan is weak at. He's weak at team fighting. Um, even if, even when when he is with the team, he is going to struggle in team fights. And uh, sometimes, uh, most of the time, you're gonna we're gonna lose the five v five. Even when your Asmo is there with you, sometimes even a four v five, because just because his um, his team fight is so um, so weak. I'm gonna send these guys in to give me some some vision. It's like if any team wants to uh, engage into this, I'm not really a big fan. It looks like we do get a level twenty. I'm gonna get forced recruitment, which is gonna give me a second charge. Looks like the enemy team is engaging right now. Looks like our, our Rhaegar has no chance of surviving at all. I'm gonna keep brain farcing top. Keep rain farcing bottom. Dunk in middle of the enemy team because just because again damage, damage is good, you know. Uh, Butcher is super low. I don't, I don't have a dunk for another three seconds, but looks like he already got healed. At least I think so. Again, I'm I'm, I'm trying to deal damage, but it's just not possible. If I if I if I die, there's nothing we can do on this way. It's just that it's just important that I don't die now. And I keep reinforcing. Gazel's probably not gonna continue on. Okay, they paid in, so that's gonna be another keep for them. And they, they will they, they will have another turn in after this after this one ends. Let me get this glow. Gazel's there. I didn't, I didn't expect Gazel to go back there, honestly. Again, our team fights are sloppy. Our Rhaegar keeps going in first, um, which is a big deal. Honestly, all I can do right now is just keep doing what I've been doing. That's honestly all, the, the only thing that I can actually do right now. The enemy team does boss. They do have the top keep open. And pretty much the only thing I can do right now is just reinforce the, uh, reinforce bottom. I think that's gonna give me the best chance of at uh, the best chance of basically defending our uh, defending our core and getting some value along the way as well. Let me attach myself to this guy, deal, deal some damage again. I'm only doing this because I have cooldowns on my on my other skills. Uh, now I see I see butcher I see butcher bottom so. Okay, that's another keep gone, and this is gonna start hitting the core. We have to do something. Butcher's, butcher's bottom. Uh, let me do this. Another another upgrade. Let me give, get some vision with my W. Lucio's out of position. Looks like he's gonna be fine though. Dunk this. There we go. That's some damage for them. We don't want to be fighting this again. This is not good for us. Top is is actually a very very big push with with. Yep, there goes that again. I mean, we can't really do anything about it because he's just out of position constantly. And the team just kind of fights for no reason apparently. Okay. I. Mm. My dead team. Yep. That's game. I mean, I tried my best. I tried to carry these people, but uncarryable. Again, people don't understand how to play with Asmodan. They kept going into into 5v5s, and honestly, after the Butcher stack, there was no chance. There's absolutely no chance we can do anything about the Butcher. Uh, about not the, the Butcher, but their team fight. 
I mean, Gazdol is not a terrible team fighter, especially when he goes for the tunnel, which, which he did go for. And uh, I just don't know what to say. Yeah, we just didn't make him pay enough. We we didn't we didn't make him feed like like any like the only way to win against Butcher is to make him feed in the early game. Then he has to basically stay busy in the late game, and he 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 has to stay weak in the late game, which basically is stacking. He has to be in the stacking state in the late game. Which isn't what we did. We went. We kept going into fights, even though they had a stronger team fight. We had Asmodan, um, who isn't strong and who I don't want to say is is bigger uh, liability than Abathur, but he is de very damn close. Even though he's a he's an actual booty along there with his team. Very very frustrating game. I, I tried to carry, and you guys saw me doing a lot of push, but they work out the end. You can't win all of them, right? So let me go over the talents. Um, again, I want to mention this before I before I finish up this video uh, with the build. Um, Asmodan is pickable. He is pickable, but he's only pickable on on big maps. That and also so like Curse's Hollow. Um, I would say probably Sky Temple and Garden of Terror. Um, on, on Garden of Terror, he's probably the weaker on on than on the other two, just because people can just kind of dip out away from the objective. Uh, because it's not so focused on just one thing, right? There, there are two terrors, and and team can just trade, and honestly, one person can just dip, dip away to deal with his push. But if people aren't de dealing with his push, he can get a lot done. Uh, so like cursed hollow again, sky temple, and and guard of terror are main examples. Um, you want to push, you want to pick him when the enemy team doesn't have any clear. Not any clear, but they have very very little clear. They, they're gonna have to basically sacrifice one of their best characters in the team or they are gonna they're gonna have sacrifice a lot of um, resources to to clear up your push or if they don't have globals if they have the hack of false that I think as well that doesn't really make sense because both of those characters will deal with your push very well and then they're, they're gonna be right in your team fight right where your where your push is mostly there to force a 4v5 when when one of the one of the members of the enemy team is is dealing with your split push you know so yeah, again, I just think he's he's pickable, but he's in the lower tier at the moment just because of his uh, his weakness in team fight. Honestly, that's what it should be. He should not be good at split pushing and team fighting. I think he might he might need a little bit of a buff in the in the team fighting scenario just because his split push is annoying, and I I don't want that to change at all because if that gets better, that is going to be annoying and broken because I think it's just at the fine line where he just needs a little bit of a push up. In the actual team fighting, but um, yeah, so we went for sieging Ra, which again, when you when we hit heroes, we get some uh, some damage, and then when we, when we when we hit twenty five heroes, we'll get some additional damage, and also our range is going to be increased by thirty three percent. So even farther range, you can just get some massive massive dunks. I didn't really show it off this game just because we didn't really let anybody go that was low health. And I also didn't have Infernal Globe, Infernal Globe, which just makes it so much easier to get dunks. Level 4, I did go for Army of Hell. Uh, that This allows me to spam my W, and also it's going to allow me to just kind of leave two of my guys in the lane and just leave. And I know this does the, and I know that it's going to get pushed because they have more damage, and they'll be dealing more damage to the actual PvE around them. Uh, I went for Bound Minion. Bound Minion, I think, is... The, is the best talent in this tier, especially for the um, for the situations where you want to pick Asmodan. I don't think this is, I don't think this is this is good on like two lane maps. Uh, if you want to pick him there, if you want to be sadistic to yourself, um, or is that called masochistic? I'm not even sure. But if you want to deal, if you want to, if you want to feel pain inside of your body, that's when you pick Asmodan on two uh, on two lane maps and on smaller maps like Tomb and stuff like that. Bound minion is not going to work because people can just deal with your bound minion very very easily and also uh, on those maps i would probably suggest infernal globe but again on those maps you should not be going with asmodan but again if you like to if you like to feel pain <laughs> there you go uh, you can go for infernal globe but the abound minion i think is the best for asmodan when he is good so on on the larger maps again if the enemy team doesn't have too much clear or globals um, the, again this will improve one of your minions and also of course on top of that spawn that general of hell that improved minion is going to be dealing 100% more damage to non-heroic targets and also be it will be taking 75% less damage from those non-heroic targets and this will last for the 30%, uh, sorry, for 30 seconds. 
Level 10, we did go for the Black Pool. Demonic Invasion, I think it's only viable with the with the E build, uh, with the actual laser build, because, you, because you're not going to get a lot of value out of your Black Pool, because when you Black Pool and then you E, it's only going to be your initial hits, which aren't the highest damage. Remember, your E, the longer you keep it on somebody, the, lo the more damage it's going to do. So the actual percentage increase here is not going to be affected that much. It's not going to be affecting your E damage that much. So I think with E, with e you can definitely go for Demonic Invasion, but in any other case, I would go probably Black Pool. Just because, again, it increases your auto attacks, it increases your uh, ability damage, and also it, it, it helps your little guys push as well. Um, I didn't do this this game, but what you can also do is when you, I don't know, you have your Q and cooldown and you want to use this, char and you have like two charges and you don't, you don't want to have those two charges, you can also put, uh, you spawn two minions, your two Ws in the lane, and you put it under those minions and they will deal a really massive amounts of damage, especially after level 13. Um, to just do wave, just clear it like that. Uh, level 13, I do go for the Hellforged armor. Um... De uh, demon warriors burn enemies and take less damage so they, they give off this aura which is very very nice as utility because it gives you vision i mean they will give you vision anyway but but also it, it will also burn enemies so like if a zerto is coming your way or a nova or any kind of stealthy coming your way it's going to burn them and it's going to reveal them for you so it's, it's good for that but also just again just very very good for for split pushing and also uh, directly synergizing with our level 16 talent it's going to make our Q spawn our, the Demon Warrior wh whenever your Q impacts somewhere. So again, just enhancing your your, your push. What you want to be doing is basically, um, you want to be in one lane, pushing with your team. You want to be uh, queuing the, the, the closer lane to you, so like middle lane probably. I'll pro so again, if you're in the bottom, you're, you are there with your team, you're pushing actively. You want to queue the middle lane and then D the top lane. And if you're in the top, you do the opposite. If you do, um, if you're in the middle, then you want to queue the closest lane and D the other lane. Um, it, that's just how it works. There's, the general rule of thumb is that you want to be Ding the farthest lane away, just because it is the farthest from you and it's going to take the longest, in theory, for your from the for the, for the enemy team to to defend the push from your D. And then come to deal with your team pushing actively, hopefully. <laughs> um, so again, this is gonna just kind of give you, I don't wanna say a second D, but very, very similar, where you will be able to um, where you'll be able to spawn this little guy who will burn people, who will deal more damage, and just kill the shit out of ding dongs, right? <laughs> uh, kill the shit out of uh, the, the creep in lane uh, very, very quickly. And then you go for even more push because again, I think Bolo Storm is great and it, it might have helped me survive in like a couple of situations. But again, when Asmadan is good, I think Forced Armor is just the best way to go. This decreases your cooldown of your D, of your General of Hell, and also gives you a second charge. So you, so you don't have to Q anymore. I mean, you, you will Q anymore. You, you will Q anyway, but this is gonna, this base, this talent alone puts the enemy to, enemy team on the clock, right? You're saying, I picked this talent, you have so much time, I don't know, like have like three, four, five minutes before you lose. Because just the amount of push is going to at least take one person away who has very, very good wave clear, or two people away who have mid-year for wave clear. Um, so again, on those bigger maps where um, the the enemy team has to deal with you this is going to be an amazing town but again in any other situation you don't want to pick asmodan at all so why 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 did you why did you pick him anyway he should be like a fourth or fifth pick uh, fourth or fifth pick nothing earlier than that so anyway hopefully that explains to you guys how to play asmodan i i know that wasn't the greatest game but i'm not afraid to post um Losses, uh, especially if they're. If I was actually pretty okay at commentary, I was actually uh, commenting what I was doing. I was commenting what should have been done, what talents I picked, and stuff like that. I, I feel like this was good. I feel like this was good. You guys, let me know what you guys think in the in the in the not in the description, but in the comments below. If you didn't like it, you know you can give the thumb, thumbs down and tell me in the comments what did, what went wrong, what did you, what you didn't like. But also, if you liked it, you can give me that thumb up rating, which is. Cool, and it only it only takes you 0.0037849 seconds. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Tell me down below what you liked about it. And also, please, Reno, check out my um, check out my stream. I do stream every day. Um, and I have some awesome, awesome games and we have, we, we just have fun. We have a great community of, of people with us and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next one.